Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, mint condition, 2017 Winnebago Vista 29V Class A gas motorhome with the full wall slide and the tailgater package. Let's go ahead and get started on the inside, and then I'll finish up by showing you the outside. Overall exterior length is 30 feet, 2 inches. Exterior height to the, your full walk-on fiberglass roof with the large 15,000 BTU AC unit is 12 feet, 2 inches. This is a one owner coach. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. That full wall slide makes a huge difference. This coach is mint condition, showroom. If any dealer was gonna take this in on trade, they would definitely rate this a 10, 10 being the best. All right, you get the idea. I'm gonna show off the studio power loft bed and the cockpit here in the end while I do the walk around on the inside. But let's go ahead and start with the full wall slide out and then walk my way back to the master bedroom and then work, work my way up front. Full wall slide, definitely going to accommodate a high to bed jackknife sleeper sofa, which is basically like a futon, uh, and the fabrics are going to be ultra leather. The colors are going to be like a cream color, and all your fabrics are in excellent condition. And the full wall sleeper slide is going to be also the kitchen. Huge counter space, by the way. Nice double bowl sink with Moen's, uh, with a residential style faucet. A beautiful uh, mosaic backsplash. It's kind of a mirror effect. Also in the full wall slide, you get the three burner gas cooktop with oven. Usually the front gas burner is going to be a high output. Looks like the oven, looks like it's never been used. This whole coach looks like it's never been used. Coach has right at almost 9,000 miles on it. Microwave. Your cabinets, not sure what they're calling the color, maybe a dark maple. And they're all solid wood cabinets and drawer fronts and all your hardware on the cabinets I believe is going to be like a, a brush nickel. And all your drawers are all on full extension metal ball bearing drawer guides. A lot of residential features on this coach. Lots of storage, by the way. Huge pots and pans drawer up underneath the oven. More storage up underneath that fridge. Fridge is probably going to be a six cubic foot gas electric nor cold refrigerator. And you can actually set it to different temperatures so you're not preset to only one temperature. All you do is kick it on. A couple hours later, you have a cold fridge. Show off the fridge here. We're still in the full wall super slide. huge pantry. I'm going to show you another area where Winnebago put a pantry, a huge pantry, by the booth dinette when I start walking towards the front. So lots of pantry space. Still in the full wall super slide. Uh, walking back in the master bedroom, you've got all your closets and your TV are all in the full wall super slide. I did check this coach for water damage. Check all four corners in the cabinets, uh, run the slide out. Did not find any issues whatsoever storage back behind the TV. Not sure what size they're calling this TV. Uh, I would say definitely uh, at least a 19 inch. Back up here. Show off that. What the full wall super slide looks from the master bedroom. I do want to point out this coach does have a thousand watt inverter and so all your TVs and a lot, a lot of your plug-ins are all hooked up to the 1000 watt inverter so if you're boondocking you've got power and you can watch TV or charge any smart devices with your 1000 watt inverter and your queen bed here queen bed does lift up it's an ultra plush mattress on each side of the bed you do have outlets that are plugged in and hooked up to the 1000 watt inverter so if you have a sleep bat machine or something like that you can actually have power while you're boondocking again lots of closet space I do want to point out on your ultra plush queen bed, lifts up, I'm one handed right now with the camera, and I did that with one hand, and it's on gas assist struts. You do have a service panel here for your water heater, and for your, those are going to be your holding tank monitors there. Definitely neat, Winnebago did, most manufacturers definitely are not going to do that. Oh, definitely cool thing that Winnebago did, they put a storage place for your ladder which sometimes you have to stick it in here, which takes up space, or stick it in your exterior compartment uh, areas and uh, takes up storage. So 
I do want to point out also, while well, we've got good lighting here, these are going to be your solar roller blinds. These are the ones you want. Shot the window treatments. Colors are going to be gray colors and silvers. And this is fabric, by the way. Soft touch vinyl ceiling also adds as insulation. And you also have fantastic vent fan in the master bedroom. Recessed LED puck lights saves you on your battery. All your ACs all ducted all the way through. 15,000 large BTU AC unit with the quick dump feature. All right. Walking back up to the front. Again, that full wall slide just should have done that a long time ago. Okay. Boot dinette, as I was saying, near the boot dinette, you've got a huge pantry. Definitely neat that Winnebago did that. Boot dinette does break down into a bed. This coach sleeps five grown adults easily and comfortably. And a bed takes a couple of minutes. The boot dinette, I'm sorry, to make into a bed takes just a minute or two to break down, break the table down, lay out the cushions. Uh, the cushions, by the way, are going to be a fabric. almost looks like a corduroy, but uh, it's going to be grays and kind of a silver look when you look at it in different angles. Again, all your fabrics are in excellent condition. This coach is non-smoker. Huge window, by the way, when you're sitting here at the boot dinette, and you can open up that window and hand stuff out to the people out in the patio area. So definitely neat idea. Flat screen TV, is, again, is going to be hooked up to the inverter. I believe it's going to be at least a 39-inch, maybe a 40-inch uh, flat screen. And it's going to be your central command or monitor panel here. It's going to show you where you're on your tank, uh, tanks and levels down here at the bottom. And it's going to be your test there. And then to the left of that is your water heater, six gallon gas electric, direct spark ignition water heater, flip switch on, whether you're boondocking or you're hooked up to shore power, you got hot water within 15 minutes. And to the right of the level test is your water pump, easy to figure out. And just above that is your generator start and stop button. It is an Onan 4000 generator and it has right at 46 hours on the Jenny. And above that is going to be your slide button for that full wall slide. And to the right of that is going to be your, it's going to be your controls for the power loft bed there, or the studio power loft bed. Let's go ahead and put that up. You can actually lock it and up position or down, but we'll go ahead and put that up. Studio loft bed sleeps one grown adult comfortably. I'm not sure what the rating is, maybe 250 pounds. Usually that's what they're rated at. And uh, yeah, there you go. And it is the fastest uh, uh, motors that they put on the studio loft bed. Uh, definitely twice as fast as your traditional power loft studio beds and other manufacturers lines. Okay, uh, just below the monitor panel is gonna be your Xantrax. Uh, basically your 1000 watt inverter uh, uh, controls right here to turn it on and turn it off and thermostat controls for your AC and your heat. I believe your heater is going to be on this uh, 30,000 BTU furnace. All ducted all the way through. Okay, before I forget, walking into the huge bathroom, foot flush toilet. Lots of counter space, by the way, in this bathroom. And to the right of the mirror, you've got huge storage. And again, ducted AC. Glass and close shower. With skylight. Okay. Speed this video up a little bit. I do want to point out all your high traffic area. The whole coach is the residential grade uh, vinyl flooring. And the pilot and co-pilot seat, they swivel around all the way around. They're in excellent condition. Ultra leather finish. Again, coach is in showroom excellent condition. Uh, Co-pilot seat area. It's got a nice workstation with a 12-volt hookup to the right there. And to the left is a USB charging port for smart devices. And this closes off like this. Nice Vista badge right there. And cockpit around. And on your dash here, you've got the angled 
stereo towards the driver and it's smart device ready hook up to your iPhone or Droid and it is backup camera and thermostat controls underneath that and uh, looks like you've got maybe a USB charging port right there definitely at least a 12 volt hookups okay this coach is sitting on the Ford F53 chassis 320 horsepower Triton V10 6.8 liter gas engine does have the six speed uh, torque flex torque shift sorry torque shift transmission with the tow haul feature basically it runs in lower rpms and your engine currently has 8,992 miles on the coach currently and this is a one owner coach uh, to the right of the clusters the, you've got auto leveling here just turn it on hit a button or two and you've got level leveling uh, let's see here and you do have a uh, heated remote control here at mirrors and oh uh, you do have a power shade right here this is going to be a power shade solar shade on the driver's side and you also have one on the co-pilot side blocking out the sun there's your map light button there actually I'm going to correct myself yeah that's a manual so on the co-pilot side but anyway you get the idea beautiful coach on the inside definitely and again it is showroom condition let's go ahead and kick off this generator we're going to go outside show off the exterior I do want to point out also on the inside you do have like a little area for muddy shoes definitely neat concept from Winnebago and just below uh, the compartment for muddy shoes you've got a battery disconnect saves you on your battery shut down the whole coach for when you're storing it power awning button and power step okay. and I do also want to point out Winnebago makes all their own doors one of the best built uh, coaches in the industry hands down coach is all framed in steel most manufacturers are just going to steel frame the cockpit, but this coach is all from front to back is all steel framed. It's going to be a gel coat finish. It's going to be like that HD Max finish. Basically, the colors bled all the way through. Looks like a full body paint coach. All the decals are in excellent showroom condition. Kind of back up here, show off that beautiful front molded fiberglass cap, one piece windshield. All your lights on the outside are all LED. 17 foot power awning. The coach, uh, the awning looks a little dirty, but it should clean up like a new penny. Uh, I forgot to turn it on. You've got LED lights out here. And uh, tinted windows, not sure what the tint is. Probably 80% tint. Huge storage on this coach. That's gonna be your 1000 watt inverter right there. That gas grill hooks onto the back. That's part of your tailgater package. I do also want to point out huge pass through storage on a Class A gas motorhome. Slam latch baggage doors, by the way. Gotta love them. Side hinged. Exterior TV. It is on a pull out pivoting hinge, I believe, arm. Uh, 32 inch flat screen. This has a full entertainment package, exterior speakers. Coach Ed does have the outside kitchen with the tailgater package. And basically your dorm style fridge is hooked up to the inverter so it stays cold if you're boondocking. You got a nice little ice chest here with drain, which is definitely neat. A lot of your manufacturers with outside kitchen are not gonna have that uh, beautiful aluminum uh, rolling doors, not just your laminated doors that they usually put. Pretty neat concept there that Winnebago did. And oh, nice bottle opener. It's part of your tailgater package. Okay, you get the idea on that. Back up here, kind of show off what it looks like from the front rear. Nineteen point five tires with the wheel simulators backup camera ladder to get up on your full walk-on fiberglass roof service your large AC unit 
Total rating on this coach is 5,000 pounds. There's your 80 gallon fuel cell there, and there's uh, two of your four point auto leveling jack legs. Full wall slide. Does have the full awning package on this coach. There's your Onan 4000 generator. 46 hours. And this is going to be your power 30 amp power cord there. It's going to be your fuel fill right there. 80 gallon fuel cell. And that's going to be passed through storage. I'm not sure if I showed off that storage compartment there next to the garage. Kind of pan down the side. There are no rock chips or anything on this coach. Definitely showroom condition. It's going to be your water hookups area here. A fresh water tank is going to be, I believe, 70 gallon. It's going to be where you dump your holding tanks. All the good stuff. And you do have a waste pump there, which is definitely convenient. It's going to be. Yeah, I did. I showed that uh, pass-through storage in that other compartment, but yeah, on the, when I was on the front side. But it's going to be like a little fuse panel box here, little buttons where you push in fuses if they trip. Uh, it's going to be your LP tank. I believe it's going to be an 18 gallon LP tank. I did check this coach for delamination on the outside, which is that bubbling caused by water damage. Did not find any issues. This coach is showroom, showroom condition. All right, I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize. If you want to come see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.